Let's review the leading causes of death during the year 2024. This is our fifth year covering the CDC's Vital Statistics Rapid Release Report. It was usually uh, reported during their what's known as the Morbidity Mortality Weekly Report. Uh, it used to come out every March, but now it's uh, delayed to September. So here we go. Mortality in the U.S. Provisional data from 2024. Okay. In the year 2024, there were 3 million deaths in the U.S., the age-adjusted death rate per 100,000 U.S. population was 844 for males and 613 for females. The overall rate was 722 per 100,000 people, which was 3.8% lower than 2023. Uh, let's talk about the leading causes of mortality. Now, if you're new to this channel, just know that we've done this report every year since 2020. So we've covered this five years in a row and... It should be no surprise to you that heart disease is the number one and remains the leading cause of mortality here in the U.S., claiming the lives of 683,000 individuals during the year 2024. Uh, now, also, you shouldn't be surprised that cancer is the second leading cause of mortality here in the U.S. It remains to be the case. In fact, it seems that cancer numbers are on the rise. Unintentional injury seems to be on the rise as well. This is the third leading cause of death, and we're going to go through the statistics momentarily. But unintentional injury, we're talking about gun violence, we're talking about drug overdoses, car crashes, things like that. Uh, this tends to be the leading cause of death for people under the age of 40. And this this hasn't really been in the top three uh, up until after 2021. There was uh, some reasons, I think, you know, lockdowns and things like that were problematic uh, for, for unintentional injuries, depression, suicide, drug overdoses, uh, and beyond. So I really want to get into the heart disease data because I think this is incredibly fascinating. I, I think the average person doesn't recognize that heart disease is the leading cause of mortality. And and so many people are trying to lower their cholesterol with uh, cholesterol-lowering foods and, and eating heart-healthy whole grains by endorsed by the American Heart Association and so forth. Well, we, you know, we've been beating this cardiovascular disease prevention drum from our mainstream establishments, uh, you know, for almost 60 years now. Uh, and it seems that what we're doing is not really working, obviously, because, you know, the, the, the death rates uh, are, are still you know, quite high for heart disease. And we're seeing younger and younger people, I can share with you just flash on the screen, uh, young, younger people are having strokes and heart attacks uh, and, and are dying from heart disease in disproportionate numbers. And I think you know, everyone's kind of wondering why. And we're also seeing this early onset cancer. And I think this is really interesting. Now, sadly in this data, which we're gonna dive into momentarily, they don't get into the age related uh, statistics in terms of, you know, what age groups are dying from cancer. You have to actually have to pull the raw data from the CDC on that. But we are seeing more and more young people die from cancer. And I think a lot of us are asking, well, why? Why are young people now dying from cancer? Uh, I have my theories and speculations, which I will share with you uh, momentarily. But folks, I want to just pause and say thank you. I really appreciate you all being here. Hopefully you're enjoying this content. And this video is brought to you by our friends over at nadsunder.com, the makers of the highest quality certified organic cotton boxers and briefs for health-oriented men. So look, as you know by now, persistent organic pollutants, heavy metals, dyes, all of these nasty chemicals are found in our clothing. They get into your body and cause health problems. This is not a conspiracy theory. We've known this for a long time. And the folks over at nadsunder.com make the most comfortable certified organic cotton boxer briefs and they fit amazingly. I've been wearing their products for well over two years. Uh, I go in the sauna with them. I exercise with them. I go on 32 mile backpacking you know, adventures with them. I haven't had a pair of rip yet. Uh, they fit amazingly well. They look good. Uh, so if you're active like me and you don't want chemicals close to your genitalia and your testicles, especially if you're trying to expand your family and have children, you need to be mindful of this because research actually shows that endocrine disrupting chemicals get concentrated in the penile tissue and are linked with erectile dysfunction. So if you haven't yet purchased a pair of NADS underwear, I would strongly recommend clicking the link in the description below because this holiday season between November 10th and December 1st, they have a 25% off sale. This is a wonderful time. I will be stocking up as well over at nadsunder.com. You don't need a coupon code, a promo code on literally the best certified organic cotton boxers and briefs that you can possibly buy. Again, click the link in the description below. Please take advantage of this because you will definitely 
be satisfied with their products. They fit amazingly. They're very durable. Uh, as I said, I, I you know exercise intensely and have yet to rip a pair of their underwear. So definitely check them out in the link below. So getting back to the data, uh, this I think is just really important for us to continue to share with people. We see people drinking soda pop, they're on their phones at night, they're not exercising, they're not getting their 12,000 steps per day. Uh, and I, I, I don't think people realize just how harmful uh, heart disease and cancer in terms of the loss of quality adjusted life years. You know, we're talking about 1.3 million people dying every single year. And I want to parse out some of this data. So let's look at uh, scroll down here to table. Uh, this is table one and and look at the differences between the number of deaths between 2023 and 2024. So as I mentioned, well over 3 million people died here in the US. It's sad children under the age of one, about almost 20,000, you know, basically infants uh, and toddlers uh, died uh, here in the US. And that's, that's really uh, unfortunate. It seems that deaths among younger children have gone down when comparing 23 to 24. Uh, they were up during 2021 and 2022 for some mysterious reason, uh, as well as deaths for people under the age of 44 were also uh, significantly increased during the year 2021 and 2022. Uh, that trend seems to be going down. No one knows why. I don't, do you know why? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know your thoughts. Um, this is the first year where elderly people, uh, we're talking people between the uh, ages of 65 up to 84, um, there were more deaths in that category compared to younger people. So uh, during 2021, 2022, there were more younger people that died compared to elderly. Uh, that pendulum has seemed to, to pivot a little bit. More young people between the ages of 25 and 34, uh, there was about you know 10,000 less uh, people in that uh, young people that, that died, thankfully. 35 to 44 is, a, is about 8,000 less people died during the year 2024. And same with 45 to 54. But then that um, trend seemed to buck a little bit for those between 65 and 84, uh, all the way up to 85 and above. So it seems that more people over the age of 65 died in 2024 versus just 2023. So that's a little bit interesting and there was no gender differences uh, there as well. But what I would love to see, and I couldn't find this data, is the age brackets about who died from what condition. This is what we really need, CDC. It would be nice to know because we're hearing so many reports of early onset cancer, uh, early onset cardiovascular disease, early onset menopause and things of the sort. So we would like to know that. Um, so I would love for the CDC to be able to offer that. But let's get to the discussion. So the investigators say the leading cause of death in 2024 was heart disease, cancer, and unintentional injury. The number of deaths from heart disease increased in 2024 compared with 2023. We're talking about 3,000. So it wasn't a significant bump, but it seems that deaths from heart disease are increased. And deaths from cancer in 2024 increased from 2023, from 600 and 19,000 in 2024 to just 613,000 in 2023. Now, what's interesting is COVID. I still see people wearing masks all the time here in Seattle. My friends, I mean, people on their bikes, people in their cars, people walking their dog are still wearing a facial covering. But COVID-19 was only the 10th leading cause of death in 2023 and dropped off the list of top 10 leading causes of death in 2024. So again, if you're wearing your facial covering in your car or walking your dog, but you're drinking soda pop and buying you know, McMuffins and so forth at McDonald's, you're, you're literally robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're not focusing on the right things because you know, uh, COVID is literally off the top leading cause of mortality list. So I think that's uh, interesting for us to know about. So they say uh, this report provides an overview of provisional mortality in the U.S. during the year 2024. Provisional death estimates can give researchers and policymakers an early signal about shifts in mortality trends and provide actionable information sooner than final mortality data. These data can inform public health policies and interventions aimed at reducing mortality. So yeah, we're seeing higher deaths from heart disease as well as higher deaths from cancer. We should be looking at this more, right? Remember all these mandates about slowing the spread and so forth about five years ago? Well, obviously, we're not doing a good job about slowing the spread of heart disease and cancer. So I think we could definitely do a better job at that. And that's why 
You know, the onus is on you to help share these videos with friends and family, especially the actionable tips. We just recently reviewed a study from the Journal of the American Medical Association finding light exposure increases your risk of having a heart attack between 47 and 54%, for example. Uh, light exposure at night, uh, having high light exposure at night compared to low night exposure over a 9.5 year study period was linked with a, almost a 30% increased risk of coronary artery disease prevalence. So we know that the, these small little things that we do have a profound impact on the physiology of our body. So friends, um, exercise, get your 10 to 12,000 steps per day, minimize your light exposure at night, try to eat more mindfully during daylight hours and not have a bolus meals uh, during the darkness of the night. Obviously, minimize consumption of ultra-processed foods, prioritize protein. And these are all things that are actionable. We can all do this depending upon our income. You know, we don't we don't need all this expensive equipment and all these expensive supplements to to walk and to minimize light exposure at night and to get good quality sleep and so forth. So I appreciate you tuning all the way to the very end. I want to thank again our folks over at nadsunder.com, the makers of the best boxers and briefs for health-oriented men. Save on their holiday sale between the uh, all of November through December 1st, 25% off. Click the link in the description below and we'll catch you on a future video down the road.